this video we're continuing our propagation series and we're going to show you how to grow new strawberry plants and runners. It's super easy to do, of course homegrown strawberries are very good value, taste absolutely delicious. I can't give you the name of the variety today, I'm awfully sorry, but I will list a few in the notes below for you. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills, such as showing you different ways to propagate your plants to give you extra stock for your garden, how to grow vegetables, some tips on pest control, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no extra charge. And don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time you upload a new video. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're looking at strawberries. Uh, how we propagate strawberries and also by we keep them rejuvenated by uh, taking runners. They are one of the easiest plants to do. Um, here we have a, a clump of strawberries which has sent, sent out runners and it really is just a question of digging up the runners and replacing them. Right so here here we are with the, with our strawberry plant. You can see they've got flowers, they're, so they're doing very well. Originally, back in the old days, we would have put little pots in and then maybe we would have put the, 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 the runners into the individual pots, got them growing and then moved them on. But nowadays, I think we're quite happy just to um, dig them up and to, to, to move them. It's always in the way, but never mind, she likes to be helping. So here we are, we're looking at the, here's, here's the original plants going back up there. But you can see the runners are going off uh, along here, so we just, a little bit of, Gently try not to disturb the roots too much, but there we are. Here's one of the runners come up with a nice root on it, and that's fantastic. Nice little plant. You can see this is the nature of the beast. See more runners going off. That's the way they grow, and that's the way we propagate them, keep them going. And if you're doing them in rows in the garden, we reckon that every 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 year you put a new row in, and then you get rid of one of the, the older ones. What I'm going to do now is take away these because these are starting to run down into the other garden. I don't really want them in the middle of the pathway here. So actually these are coming up quite nicely because it's nice and moist, the soil's moist. I'm just pulling them up, look at that. Nice root on it, tidy it up. Now I'm going to be, be firm with it. This one's got a flower on it. We don't really want it to flower now, we want it to get established. So I'm going to nick that flower out there and that bud out there so that you've got nice young plant to grow. There we are, not such a good root, but he'll be okay. Pull the, pull the um, dead off of it. Take that runner off and take the flower heads off. Ready to go. And those there. Just, you can almost get a couple of plants out of that one, actually. Yeah, just divide that up into two. And there's a couple, couple of little plants there. So that's four we've got. Take the dead off. Leave the roots, obviously, if you can. But uh, there we are, there's the bud, we'll remove that bud because we want to get it going. And there we are, I'm going to damage that leaf, that's not going to worry. Okay, so we've got five plants, I think that's probably enough of what we're looking for today. Right, so now we've got our little runners and we're going to put them along the edge of this, this uh, raised bed. Uh, the raised bed's nice and fertile, we dug in loads and loads of garden compost. I emptied my garden compost bin back in the autumn in there, so it's nice and fertile. I'm going to put these right on the edge so that when they come over, They'll, hopefully they'll fall over the edge and they won't need any straw to keep them clean because they'll just rest on the wood. So, nice and tight, uh, decent sized hole, root right in there, firm it in. Okay, I'm putting, I'm putting these about six inches apart, so that will go in there. And then he goes deep into there. In, firm it. They, 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 they always used to say when the RHS did this as an examination. If you can break a leaf without lifting out the ground, you've got it in just right. So there we are, we're doing okay. Um, a bit more there. Put these bits of weed out as we go. They always turn up, don't they? Okay, so there we are, that's the, um, the planting done. And the next job, of course, is watering.
Thank you very much for joining us in our Somerset Garden today. If you'd like to learn more propagating tips and gardening tips, do consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.